Can you tell us a little bit about the Academy? We um, started here in this location in June 2014 um, with the idea of obviously reaching out to families who are low income in the area. Um, the pastor currently installed at the church is Efrain Cotto. He is a therapist in the school, so he knows about different options out there. Sometimes we have a mom who's looking for a house for rent because they're being evicted from their home, and I reach out to him and he finds different options. Um, we provide them with different phone numbers. Job-wise, sometimes we need someone and he knows different people that he's doing therapy with, and he will refer them to us as well just to open up to the community, and the community learns not only about the opportunity for their child to come here to a safe environment to learn, but also a place where they can go pray and get some spiritual help. So currently we have a problem with um, rats in our playground. The surface we have, it's just dirt. So in the area, we're actually the only large, what they call green space. Um, everything else around us is either cement or just straight material, so they cannot go underneath and actually build um, their community. I'm just gonna call it community. Their community, right? And that's actually a problem to the point where after the pandemic, it got very, very bad. And sometimes we will step on the ground and we will feel our feet going down just because there's there are holes down there built by the rats. <laughs> so it's it is very frustrating. I feel like for us as teachers, because we can't um, take our students down uh, outside for them to do what we know they love doing. And second of all, because we know that our safety is jeopardized by taking the trash outside. The first phase for um, this playground project consists in um, changing our surface and um, making it a cement surface. Following that, we will look into a safe surface for the children, which is the tires, recycled tires and colored. The third step will be install equipment, equipment that will allow students to do their physical activity to promote um, gross motor development so temporarily because we're having the outside um, situation going on we're not able to take the kids outside at the moment um, the church has provided us a space downstairs what they call the basement however um, this the, the location is a basement it doesn't have any heater system so it gets very cold humid just because it's a basement again um, it looks like it will flood in case of um, rain or maybe heavy snow outside. You can see the walls um, have some um, water marks, um, but you know, it's urgent for them to be outside. First of all, it will be a safer place for them to be at. They will be able to enjoy the fresh air. They will be able to learn about the changing weather. Um, the trees, uh, vitamin D, there's a lot that goes with that. For the community to know how this project was made and by who, um, it will give them a different picture of what faith really is. I grew up in church and I feel like a lot of people out there, they don't know what faith is really about. Sometimes they look at church from a different perspective. And for them to know that church is there not only um, to do a service, but to actually help and reach out to the community, it will make such a big difference in the way they feel about the faith, um, brothers and sisters. And that's, at the end of the day, that's what we are here for, to serve the community. So it will make a big difference. <laughs>